Okay, and uh, welcome to part two of Drawing with Steffi. Just to remind you, you can see more of my art at Lady Cybercat at, Devi uh, at DeviantArt. And uh, so I've printed out uh, the dragon that I drew earlier. I know it's kind of light, but that's because I'm going to ink it, so I need it to be fa fairly light. Uh, onto another piece of paper, and we're going to start inking. And, and I like to use tech pens. This is a Copic um, multi liner. You don't have to have this spiffy one, but it's a nice, uh, fairly thick one. Um, I sometimes like doing thick lines, sometimes I like doing thin lines. Uh, it just kind of depends on what you feel like doing. But um, so I'm using this medium pen so I can do some of the small details like his eyebrow here. And I'm just going to do it nice and slow. And when you're inking, you really want to try to have a nice smooth line. You know, if you don't get it quite right, you just go back over it. You don't want it to be all sketchy. You don't want to be doing that. You just want to just nice smooth line. And you don't have to press hard. And if it, the line isn't as thick as you want it to be, you just go back over. There you go. And uh, I tend to move my paper all over the place so I can get my hand in there. And when I ink, I usually do go over it a couple times to get it just the way I want it to be. You could use a thicker uh, pen, but sometimes it's just better to go over it a few times. That way you have a little bit more control. I have some brush prints that I'll be using too, but for the eyes, since I want to be able to have lots of control, I'm going to use this small one. I just want to make sure I get the lines just the way I want them to be. You can't erase pen. Oh, darn it. It'd be nice if you could, but but yes, there are there are some erasable pens, but they're not very good for, for art inking. Alright, now we're gonna do his nose. Sorry about that sound, that was my scanner resetting itself. It's kind of noisy. Now I'm going to do my best to ink this whole thing in the, the 10 minutes that I have. So I'm going to do just the small things first. Since I've got the small pen out. And then I'll skip to a bigger pen so I can go a little bit faster. So I don't have to keep re-inking. Okay. I think we'll do his little whiskers with the small brush or the small pen. You don't want to go too fast because it's easier to mess up that way. There we go. Got one whisker. And the other. And if you mess up, it's okay because that's why they created white out, or you can just use the computer. Because I'm going to scan this in again. Because I am inking on cardstock, I like inking on cardstock. If I if I don't do it digitally, um, I like using cardstock. It's the best stuff to draw with, I think. Depending upon what you're planning to do with the drawing. But as you see, I made a little boo boo here. It's okay. I can just kind of go over it. And I'll fix it later if I have to. 
And I try not to lay my hand over the places I just inked because it can smear. I want just enough space in between the lines to make it click the whiskers thick, but I don't want to be like elephant thick. There we go. If you have to pick up your pen off the page, that's all right. Oops, a little bit too close. There we go. And uh, having things overlap is a great way to create depth. All right, so now I'm going to do his little fingernail here. That's my 10. I only have 10 minutes, oh no. All right, here we go. Do his little claws. I have dragon lady claws. And oh, gotta do his other fang. All right, I think I'll do his smile with the small pen. There's a little bit of a smirk going on. There we go. I think I'm going to switch to a slightly bigger brush. I think well, this is one of my Japanese brush pens. You see it's got a nice kind of a flexible nib. But uh, this one is really, really strong, so you have to be really careful. Otherwise, you can smear. And I'm going to use this piece of paper here to, uh, to lean my hand against. And this one, you really want to have a steady hand, because if you press hard, you get a really thick line. And I don't want a really thick line right now. But the nice thing is when you do press hard, when you want to, it can give you some really nice lines. See? That's how you get some line weight. But it's definitely one of those things you don't want to have the same weight all the way around. And again, you can go back over your line to thicken it up if you want. You definitely don't want to have a shaky hand when you do this. So it gets definitely show your wibbles so don't drink a lot of caffeine before you use a brush like this can't really see it from the, the video but there's a few little wibbles in there you can kind of see it but that'll be good for the moment I'm just gonna kind of outline here But because this is such a sensitive pen, that's why I didn't want to use it on the, the whiskers. It just gets too messy. And this will definitely uh, smear because the ink is very wet when it goes down. It does dry eventually, but it, it's also not one you can use marker on afterwards. Um, it is not waterproof in the slightest. So if you use your like alcohol markers on it, like the Copic or the Prisma, it will bleed really bad. So it's great for uh, inking, not great for painting over. But it's good for outlining. If you're careful, you can do some really nice stuff. Be good for comic book inking. I'm sure a lot of professionals like these kind of brushes too if they don't use an actual paintbrush. Because you don't have to keep dipping the quill into the ink vat. All right, we're going to come around here and do an arm. Thicken that up a little bit. Get 
this over there so you can see it in the light a little bit more. But as you can see, it gets the lines really thick if you're not careful. All it takes is a little bit of pressure and you have a really dark line. That's why I like to be really careful with these. And I'm not actually going to ink the whole thing with this because it's just so very sensitive. I use this one for just my most important lines that I want the thickest. Uh, that was a quick five minutes, wasn't it? Alright, and I think I'm going to get a little bit of a beard here. Nah, I think I'll use a different inch. Yes, I have a dozen different inking pens. Uh, this is another flexible. Uh, this one is by Pentel. It's called a Stylo. I got it like Hobby Lobby. And it's it's got a funky little nib. And it's kind of flexible, so it, it's got some play in it. So it's not like a normal felt tip pen. And uh, But it can spit. So you have to, uh, so while it won't make as huge of a thick line, uh, if you're not careful and you mark it the wrong way, it will send a little spitting of ink and it gets all over the place and it's just not what you want. So you have to just be real careful with it. And you don't want to press too hard because it can uh, destroy the nib. It's another one where you kind of have to go over things a few times with it again, but it does have some line weight to it on its own. But it doesn't show up your wibbles quite as bad. So if you have a, a shaking hand, this is a good pen to use. And again, I'm going to give this some different line weight here and there so it looks a little bit more interesting again helps with the depth thicker lines seem to come forward thinner lines uh, fade back so if you want to indicate that something is definitely in front of something else or is really important you want to use a darker thicker line a little bit goes a long way you don't want to put too much in the thick because then it can just kind of lose its power. I want to mix it up a little. There we go. And now we're going to do the fluff in front of his. And I think what I'm going to try to do is speed up the rest of this because oh, I think you would like to see me ink the whole thing, but I'm obviously not going to be able to do this in real time. It's going to take me a little bit longer since it's bigger than a, a normal size card. But I'll let you see me do the rest of the head here hopefully. Thinking is probably the most time consuming part of a, a drawing. So you have to go slow. Especially if you only have like one or two kinds of pens and then and if you want really thick lines then it would take even longer. Because you'd have to go over things so often. 